Okay, Neil, how does it feel this weekend and how keen are you to make sure that that Wigan result isn't, doesn't stand alone? Yeah, of course, really keen. Um, good performance, good result, obviously excellent result. Um, good, away, good away performance, professional. Um, but it is about maintaining that now, of course. We need to put points on the board, as we've said all along, and it's another good chance for us now, a home game, um, to, go, to go and follow that up because... Uh, you know, the old cliche, you know, what we don't want to do is waste that in at Wigan, if you like. So it'd be fantastic for us if we could carry on with that same manner uh, and stick another three points on the board following a good performance at Wigan. Yeah, it was a gritty win, wasn't it? One that sort of goes far in this league. How pleasing was that? Yeah, you have to do it. Um, you say, I said at the time, it wasn't, it wasn't a classic game by any means, but, uh, you know, we did a lot of things very well, which, you know, it can't always be. Uh, three and four goals, as much as we'd like that to be, um, and particularly in the circumstances, you know, the defeat from the, the previous game. Uh, what I couldn't afford to do was for us to lose the game in the first 15, 20 minutes at Wigan by trying to win it, if that makes sense. So we just went with the solid, solid midfield um, to, to make sure we got a foothold in the game. And I thought particularly that first half, we, could, we dominated the half and probably should have wrapped the game up in that half. Uh, but overall, looking back, as you know, sometimes you look, could we have done that? Should I have done that? But I think overall, it was it was a very solid display and, and one, as you said, you have to deliver. Yeah, you had a clear tactical game plan for that match. Can those tactics work for this weekend's game, or are you going to have to reconsider things again? I think you have to look at it all all the time. Um, you know, it's it was a good performance, and uh, of course, you, you're at home. Sometimes the onus is on you to come and attack teams. But as we as we found, teams have generally tended to to sit back. So. Um, we'll look at it. We'll certainly have a look at it. But as I've said all along, you're not afraid to change tactics or the team. That you, you pick a team that you think will will do the, uh, a job and win a game for you. Um, and like I say, generally looking back, we felt that um, the team selections have been right, tactics have been right. What we've what's let us down is obviously mistakes that have cost us goals and points. So uh, that's why it was pleasing last week to to keep a clean sheet and get the three points. And of course, Huddersfield come to your thoughts. What, what do you make of their season so far? What are you expecting from that game? Yeah, well, it's been a you know they've, they've had a couple of changes at the, of manager and uh, obviously Chris in there now has, has got them going as as normally tends to happen. Um, good win for them last week. You know they've got one or two threats uh, as we're well aware of. But but again we were confident, particularly after Saturday's performance and win, that uh, you know we're, we're keen, really keen to back this up and to you know to go into the derby game in the, Chris, the the festive period then with 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 points under our belts. And you know if we do that, then we'll be right back in it. They have three former Norwich players in their squad. One of them is Grant Holt, obviously a hugely popular figure here, but you'll be looking to keep him quiet. Yeah, he, I mean, he's a, he's a legend here, and rightly so. He was fantastic during his time here. and But obviously, we've got to try and make sure he you know, has a quiet day on, on Saturday. He's, uh, he's a handful. He can, be a, he can be a match winner, as every Norwich fan knows only too well. But uh, they have other threats as well. We know it's not about a one-man team, but, uh, you know, he... I'm sure he get a good reception. He deserves that, um, but it's about us on Saturday. You know, hopefully we'll keep him quiet and also nullify the threats they have in other areas. Team news for us. Can we expect Wasulan to be in the 18 on Saturday? Uh, I'm hoping they'll be available for selection. Certainly, uh, Ryan Bennett too. Vardis maybe not. He's still got a little bit of a niggle on his knee, um, but it's good that we've. I think we've come through the the Wigan game today. Will be crucial today and tomorrow because one or two have missed the training. But I'm, ho I'm generally hoping everyone will be available from from last week and and also. Um, if they go well enough today, Wes and, uh, and Ryan Bennett as well. I suppose having someone like Wes even on the bench, it, it gives you that extra option, doesn't it? Yeah, he's a unique player, as we've said. Um, he can come on, he can, he can, he can start games and unlap defences. He can come on and, and do that. That's what he's about. And, and obviously, we've missed him. We've missed him having that opportunity to, for his style of play. Um, so yeah, great to have him back. Any new injury concerns this week? No, as I say, there's just one or two that have that've just been rested as precautions, little uh, kicks, slight swollen ankles and things like that. But um, I'm hoping by certainly by tomorrow that everything's cleared up and we should be should have a full uh, full squad to, to pick from, barring the, the obviously longer term ones. Back to Carrow Road, I'm sure you'd admit the form there hasn't been what you what you wanted. How, how keen are you to make it a place for where teams come and fear playing, as, as it were? Yeah, that's obviously that's what you want. We've had too many draws at Carrow Road, which is you know if we you, you count the, the points we've dropped with draws, uh, excluding the, the two defeats, you know it's a it's a lot. Um, you know I think it's five draws there now, three wins, five draws. So. Uh, that's key, obviously, winning your home games. I mean, the away form has been, been generally been good in, in a lot of the games. Five wins and a draw from ten is, is you know, if you can back that up with solid home form, as you usually need, then we can see what's happened. And, uh, yeah, we do need to get back to Carrow to be a noisy place 
for us to be winning games and I'm sure that one goes with the other then if, we, if we're winning games it's noisy uh, which obviously self fuels itself so uh, we're, we're particularly keen as I say to back up last Saturday's win with another one and finally a quick word on the FA Cup Georges on Monday Preston away what do you make of that one? Tough one yeah we do prefer it at home of course always say a home tie but um, you know we'll take it seriously we'll try and win, win the game we're, we're confident obviously we can win the game but they're going well in their division um, I'll leave in that one for now though there's, there's much more important things between now and then but I can assure everybody will we'll take it seriously as and when we get to there